Nice one called dudes. It is a glorious March morning and I am in North Wales, in Clander, though to be precise. And as you can see, it is spectacular. And today I'm going to go up the Great Orm up there. It's about six miles this walk. Who knows how long it's going to take because it's going to be quite hilly. There's only one thing left to say. Good luck everyone, especially me. The Great Orm comes from the old Norse word for sea serpent. Wikipedia tells me that half a million people walk up the Great Orm every year, so I think the path should be all right. The seagulls here are very confident. I'm also starting a spin-off club, Crap Camera Club, where you're only allowed to take photos using this Camp Snap camera, which is the cheapest one I could find. You can't even see uh, what photos you've taken, which is what I like about it. I've also got my other main camera here, and you can see some comparisons of photos I take with this. Um, my main camera here, if you're interested. Ah, the ascent is about to begin. They've done a spectacular job on these gardens. So far, cool dudes, this walk is incredible. There's benches on every corner. It's really well signposted and the views are wondrous. If you're after a walking holiday with three separate walks, I think you can't ask for much more than the three I've done, especially if you're not scared of heights like me. And this is possibly the best of the three. Very cool place for a church and a cemetery. Lunch is ham and cheese sandwiches, Welsh cake, really salted crisps, and water. Nice one. Heading up to the summit now, called Dudes, and that has to be one of the greatest churches I've been to. That is nightmare inducingly steep. I think there's a path that way with a gentler incline, fingers crossed. I mean, I'll probably slip down that. Nearly there, cool dude. Yes, I'm at the summit, cool dude. You probably can't hear me because it is very windy. How many meters above sea level do you think this is? A, 509. B, 609. C, 679. Hmm. We'll have a look round while you come to your decision. It's 679 meters. One of the old quarries there ahead. And this is where the train arrives. They're not running at the moment. Making my way slowly down now, cool dudes. And these cable cars have reminded me 
of the James Bond book I read. My first one ever on Her Majesty's Secret Service by Ian Fleming. I enjoyed it and some of you may have read what I wrote on my Instagram which was that even though George Lazenby played James Bond in it, I imagined it as Sean Connery who isn't even my favourite Bond. My favourite is probably mm, Roger Moore although Timothy Dalton had the license to kill which is a rubbish film living dead that's always good i don't really like bond anymore because it's become just nonsense even though it was nonsense before anyway the question of the day is who is your favorite bond and who do you think would make a great next bond please write your answers below nice one well 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 a roman well Oh, I sort of hate myself for saying that. There's a dude back there making a dry stone wall, redoing all of this. Very cool. This is the sort of walk that has made me think that I like to become a shepherd and just wander the fields all day. Although in the UK, you only get weather like this probably about 30 days a year. I'm running a bit behind schedule to get a lift back to my holiday home, so I'm going to cut back inland. Also, the monk's path looks like it might be a bit precarious to me. I don't know, and I don't want to find out. All right, good luck, everyone. Those are the copper mines, cool dudes. I don't think you can go down there. This would be a bad paper round. I'm walking along the uh, tram tracks because it's not in use until April, I think. Heading back into Clandudno now. Does anyone know what this is? Please write below. Nice one, cool dudes. That is a walk complete. Just over seven miles, about four hours, 45 minutes. I regret not doing that end bit the monk's way, so let me know if it's any good or if it's difficult. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed that, please consider joining the club. Just go to the channel page, click on join and choose one of these tiers and you can get to watch all these films. Use these emojis and get into the prize draw. And thank you very much to everyone who has joined. You have enabled me to do this trip to Wales, which has been fantastic. All right, that's about it. What an excellent walk. I highly recommend coming here if you enjoy walking. Oh yeah, one more thing, stay cool. Is the painting wonky or the camera wonky? Who knows? But look at this beautiful painting available on eBay. An original frame masterpiece could be yours for how much? Starting price 11 pounds. 
All right, cool dudes. As requested, the map of Britain in this framed format are also now available on CoolDudesWalkingClub.com. Oh, I love it. Let's get straight on with the prize draw. Currently, there are 533 excellent people who are members on YouTube, and you're going to be entered into the prize draw for the following prize. A magnetic landed no bookmark, a collapsible plastic cup, a key ring I made of me as a monk, a sandown clown zine, a ghost hunter badge, a vinyl sticker and the badges and the stickers. What a lovely prize. It's time to say random number generator. Generate me a number. Generate. 36. The 36th longest serving YouTube member is Dave H. Dave, I've got your address. I send this stuff to you. Congratulations to you and to everyone else who supports me. That is about it. Details of my crap camera club can be found on the Marrick Larwood YouTube channel. There's only one thing left to say are two things. Please continue to send in your keyring pictures and landscape mode, which is the wide mode, not this mode, is better. Send them to callswalkingclub at gmail.com. They're coming up next. Oh yes, one more thing. Stay cool.